Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, hello, my name is Kim. We're going to get into a Starseed Origins reading and it's going to be for the Mintakan Starseeds. Let's see what we get today for the Mintakans. I hope everyone's doing really, really well. Let's see what we get. Here in Cultivating Ideas, Cultivating Ideas. So I think a lot of you have been cultivating a lot of ideas in your mind, um, creating a lot of things. Okay. I've been talking. Bottom of the deck was spirituality, so they want you to focus on your spirituality. And we have health in the reverse upon splitting the deck, so focus on your health. Self-discipline. I do have my water sitting here. Where with my aquamarine crystal in it from the manifestation course. You guys need to check that out. It's amazing. I promise you there are amazing techniques on there. If you're Mintakan, if you're Lemurian, if you're a water sign, and even if you're not, even if you're not, you'll still hugely benefit from that. There's techniques on there working with the conduit of water, the element of water that you've never heard of before, that you've never probably ever heard of or thought to do and I they were actually channeled to me through my Arcturian guide and through my Lemurian crystals and lots of remembering how to work with energies and then using these energies to activate your light body and then using your light body to help you manifest abundance it's just an, it's an amazing course so I highly recommend it if that's something you're interested in um, the link for that will be down below and if you would like a coupon code off of that just message me you can email me or message me on Instagram at KimberKiss33 and I would love to help you out with that um, let's see messages for the Mintakas huh there might be some um, romantic aspects in here let's see Especially with those two cards that just came out. I hope that part of the video saved. Let's see. Working with crystals will be highly important for you Mintakins this month of November. Highly important. Working with crystals. Ah. Okay. Any other messages here? Oh, okay. <laughs> Should I get one more card? One more. I'll do one more. These are the romance angels. They're not <laughs> the full size. They're like mini ones. I love these guys. They work so good. I'm actually in the process of looking for some more like romance tarot or love oracle cards so if there's any that you guys totally love and recommend let me know in the comments below because i would love to do some more love readings for you guys it's just fun help you guys out too so love that and i'm actually having a lot of fun like creating like different readings for you guys I'm really blossoming out as far as my channel goes. Like there's all kinds of different things that I'm experimenting with and trying out and just seeing how I like doing them and seeing how you guys like, so. So we have a love portion. I think we'll wait till the end for that. That'll keep you guys excited, huh? I gotta keep you guys excited. Okay, so I'm talking. Wow, it's like this overwhelming amount of masculine energy. This masculine energy, like, within yourself and it's asking you to be flexible when it comes to your energies because I'm just feeling this overwhelming like masculine energy and it's so funny how this presents itself within female the female sex like within the 
the feminine aspects like it, it's just weird it's weird how the masculinity expresses itself through the woman and as a woman who carries like a very high like masculine part within me like I just I like the way that I go about doing things is very like aggressive sometimes it's very like masculine um especially when it comes to especially when it comes to like things that I want I'm very like I don't know like masculine about it it's weird it's like I'm a Pisces sun and moon I'm a Sagittarius rising and it's like when it comes to something that I'm passionate about or something that I want my Sagittarius like fire energy just takes over and I just kind of go like crazy <laughs> I don't know it just it's weird how like that masculine part of me just like kicks in and totally overrides everything Piscean about me <laughs> so yeah, just, I don't know, you Mintakins, you might just be either dealing with an overpowering masculine counterpart, or you yourself, I feel like you yourself might have a um, balancing out to do when it comes to your divine masculine energies with inside of you, and yes, you can be a woman and still have these, of course, because like, I just told you my story, so, <laughs> yeah. I'm really tired, guys, I didn't get much sleep last night, so, um... I didn't get much sleep last night. I, I don't know if it's the full moon or I don't know. I was kind of going kind of crazy with all my editing and everything and wanting to get everything done. And I kind of stayed up and did that. And then my daughter woke up really early this morning. You guys don't care about this. Why am I saying this in the video? Probably editing this out. Okay. So um, lack of sleep might be something that's prominent for you guys right now. I, I've noticed with a lot of my friends that have been messaging me, they've all been experiencing different ascension symptoms, different things. And I know insomnia has been a huge one. Anxiety has been a huge one. Purging, meaning like crying, crying, like bawling your eyes out. Um, old, old wounds coming to the surface that you thought had healed. Those are resurfacing um, or they may or you may have gone through this already. Or you may be going through it now or going through it in November, but hopefully you're not. Hopefully you're over with the hump of it by now because I know I had a fun purging experience during the whole full moon and everything. And there's just a lot um, that we're learning how to integrate and a lot that we're... I think healing from the past, healing from the past, because it's weird. It's like, I thought these things were healed, but they're not. There's always more work to be done, right? So you guys might be experiencing the same thing and that's normal and it's okay. And I'm right there with you. So we have the never ending story. Yeah. It's like this, this feeling of never endingness. <laughs> and I feel like this year in and of itself is kind of like that. With those energies but i feel like we're going more into um we're gonna be heading more into fair energies to be fair to be fair balancing out the scales so i do see like this overpowering masculine energy and this might be like the energy that i'm picking up from the system as well not just the collective but the system and if you know anything about the system you know it's very overpowering when it comes to masculine energies so but i do feel like I do feel like there is luck and there is miracles to be had and the balancing out of the scales will be happening. Um, yeah, so remain flexible when it comes to your divine masculine energies. That's like a huge message there. And then we also have the poised card in the reverse. And this is right underneath the never ending story. And I think what this is, is like your mind is your worst enemy. And this is a message that I've been getting a lot recently and not just for me, but for friends and for the collective. Your mind is sometimes your worst enemy. And sometimes it just takes us identifying the things that we say to ourselves and the never ending stories that we tell ourselves. We have to observe these things and catch it. It really helps star seeds to write them down as much as you probably don't want to because you understand the power of manifestation, but you can write them down and then counteract them and write the positive notions on another page. So that way you're like counteracting them right there, but it helps you identify them, right? Because if you don't, then you just, how do you stop it? 
right? It's just gonna keep that pattern, that never ending story that you keep telling yourself and it's not even a, a truthful story. So it's asking you to rise up and um, identify these things and then be confident in yourself, be happy in yourself and start fixing these things and they will be fixed. It's, it's, you just need to identify them first. We have the star card under to be fair. So, hmm, what am I getting here? I keep getting... I keep getting um, Syrian and Arcturian influences throughout this reading. Um, before I even got into this reading, I kept like feeling, um, and not just because my guide is in Arcturian, but I was getting like Arcturian influence feelings, Syrian influence feelings. So I feel like they're kind of helping us fill back up our cup this month of November for the Mintakins. So if you notice blue flashes or you just feel like, these almost like foreign presences around you, may, if you're not used to channeling the Arcturians or the Syrians, it's probably them, but they're here to assist you, they're here to help you, and they're, help you, they're helping you rebalance your energies. And you'll notice this throughout the month. You'll be catching things and you'll be then like, oh, wait, I feel balanced. Okay. Oh, I, I understand. Okay, I've been doing this pattern and now I know what I need to correct and I've started correcting it and oh, I'm starting to feel better. It's kind of like kiltering off these like crazy um, out of balance chaotic energies for you guys so yeah they also want you to understand like dang you're the star and you're the guru you're the star and you're the guru right but this is you this is how you treat yourself <laughs> you just you may want to rethink things that happen to you as a way of the stories that you create in your mind are being handed to you, reflected to you in your outer reality. So that's why um, I feel like this subconscious patterning, um, it's been coming up a lot for me and for a lot of my friends and a lot of people. Like it's not just you know, I'm not just like pulling this out of my butt. Like <laughs> this is what's happening. A lot of people are doing this. A lot of people are doing this where they're just being their own worst enemy and really um, keeping themselves from moving forward, holding themselves back, beating themselves up, um, not noticing the subconscious patterns and the subconscious thoughts that they think that's creating that like they're self-confirming everything that they're feeling. And then you start believing it's outside of you. But really, it's like the thoughts that you think and the patterns. So we're going to, Mintz Hawkins, we're going to start working with our subconscious mind in the month of November. You're going to start identifying things, observing things, and really catching it before it gets too far. And so it doesn't keep repeating itself. Otherwise, it's just going to keep be, being that never-ending story, and you don't want that. So you need to have, this is a change. Yeah, we have 55 with the 4 and the 1 is 5, and then 5 here. We have change, and we have self-discipline. So there's a change of self-discipline coming in, but there's also a huge change, a huge change for the Mintakins of intuition. A huge change of intuition. This is master number 22, which... Honestly, whenever I see this number, I always think of what a friend told me in the past about ship communication. So I really feel like a lot of Mintakan ships, Arcturian ships, Syrian ships, and the beings that are associated. So the Mintakan beings, the, the Syrian beings, and the Arcturian beings making contact, helping you grow and strengthen your intuition, helping you get in touch with yourself to enhance your intuition. And this is also for creativity. We have a lot of orange here, a lot of red. So like root chakra, sacral chakra, and third eye and throat. So it's, you know, it's a lot of expressing yourself through creativity, voicing yourself through creativity, um, grounding your creative ideas right and really putting them forth into action forth into place so 
yeah, huge changes when it comes to that. So now we're going to get into the romantic part of the reading. So I wasn't planning on doing this for this reading, but this has kind of been coming through for a lot of the starseed readings. It's really interesting. Um, so upon pulling from my energy oracle deck, I got the thinking man in the upright and the appreciation in the reverse. So I feel like either you or this other person are the thinking person and the other person is feeling underappreciated or perhaps both are thinking a lot and feeling underappreciated because we do have appreciation in the reverse. So what I'm getting like the most what I'm getting here is this um these energies are out of sync. We have the female which is the feminine and the masculine. Energies are out of sync. Um and it's like you're waiting for that um, moment to tap in. There's a there's a blockage here with tapping in. Um, and I'm getting this this male is thinking a lot about you, but you're feeling really kind of like scorned and undervalued and underappreciated for the Mintakins. So it's interesting. But they actually honestly see you and view you as this like very unique divine crystal, like this very unique divine soul, this very unique divine energy. But you feel so like undervalued and you feel like you see this person as a very rare soul. So it's, it's so funny because you guys view yourselves as the same, yet you're not able to connect in the sense of energy. Like there's a blockage there. So it's interesting. It's interesting. But you guys do feel the same, I feel, with these two cards. And you both may be feeling the same thing. You both may be overthinking or you both may be thinking a lot or you both may be feeling underappreciated or one or the other. So take that how that resonates. And then it's interesting because we got the, the new love card and then we also got the free yourself card. So the new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, okay? And then we also have it's time to take back control of your life. So take these how they resonate. I'm just going to read what they say. Then we have love yourself first in the reverse. And it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, okay? So your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And then we have release your ex. Release your ex. And this says the time has come to clear your energy. And this is right under free yourself, okay? So in order for this new love, and I think these energies to... Um, meld together you have to love yourself first you have to love yourself first and you have to release this other relationship this ex or this other person because it's really time for you to take back control of your life and i feel like this is just a message and it's a general reading so this may pertain to some people it might not but please take it how it resonates as these cards did come out for your reading so that's what I'm getting. I'm getting that someone's thinking a lot. Someone feels underappreciated. There's definitely like a new love here. And this person's going to notice you um, and be more attracted to you when you start respecting yourself more and vice versa. And also there's someone here that needs to free themselves and take back control of their life, right? respect themselves and then there's also release your ex so release the ex or release the person that you're with um to clear your energy so i'm gonna close the gate there that completes the reading for the mintakins i hope that helped you this will be for the month of november and if whenever you want to refer back to this to see if you um get other messages because a lot of the times with these readings you'll receive different messages and different aha moments for each one since they are considered timeless and also because i saw the arcturian and the syrian influence here in this reading i highly recommend you check both those readings out um i'll try to remember to leave them in the link below but if not you can just click on my channel look at the november 2020 readings and find the arcturian and the syrian one and watch those and just see what other messages you get through those so I love you guys so incredibly much. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing. Make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss any more updates 
or galactic greetings from me. I love you all so much, and until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>